Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on exercise 5.1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learner's Book 4. And this exercise is about multiplication. The first question in this exercise says, Helga is thinking of a two-digit number. Thinking of a two-digit number. She says it is less than three times six. We know that 3 times 6 is equal to 18. And it is more than 3 times 5. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Means the number is less than 18 and more than 15. And again she says it is not equal to 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. The number between 15 and 18 is 16 and 17. If it is not 16, so the answer is 17. Means Helga is thinking of 17. Question number two says, here is part of a number grid. So we have some numbers over here and it says, which numbers are multiples of seven? So to find the answers here, here we have a tip and the tip says, remember you can check a division fact using multiplication. For example, 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. It is because 3 times 7 is equal to 21. So 21 divided by 7 is 3. So in this case, when we want to look for the numbers that can be multiples of 7, we have to see which one when we divide by 7, what number we get. Or if we know the times table of 7, or if we know what numbers we get when we multiply other numbers with 7, we can easily find them out. So 1 to 1 is already found. So here, this one is a multiple of 7. 22 cannot, because we don't have any number multiplied by 7 equals 22. So this one I will cross. 23 also cannot. 24 cannot. 31 is also not. 32 is not. 33 is not. 34 is also not. 41 is also not. 42 is a multiple of 7. Why? Because 6 times 7 is equal to 42. So 42 is a multiple of 7. 43 is not, 44 is also not, a multiple of 7, in the same way 51, 52, 53, and 54. So the numbers that are multiples of 7 over here are 21 and 42, not any other one of them. Well, in question 3 it says, copy and complete this list of factors. So the factors of 32. So we are looking for the factors of 32. Let me write down here that we can get 32 by multiplying 1 and 32. So we get 32. And we can get 32 by multiplying 4 and 8. We get 32. So in this case, we can say 1 times 32 is 32. And also, if you multiply 2 with 16, we can get 32. Then in this case, we can write 2 and 16, 4 and 8. These are the factors of 32. Because here the lesson is focusing on multiples and factors, I want to say what is factor and what is multiple. When we multiply two numbers like 2 times 4 is equal to 8. When we multiply the numbers, the numbers which are multiplied are called factors. And multiple is any number when we multiply a number with another number. So in this case, when we multiply 2 by 4, we get 8. Here, 8 is multiple of 4 and also multiple of 2. So in this case, we can say if we multiply 2 by 4, we get 8. So 8 is multiple of 2, and at the same time, it's multiple of 4. Well, let me scroll down to go to question 4. 
In question four, it says that Bruno says the dates of all Saturdays this month is one less than a multiple of seven. So we have to look for the dates of Saturday only. So this is Saturday. This one is Saturday here. We have six. Is six one less than a multiple of seven? Of course, one plus six is seven. We get a multiple of seven. So in this case, it means that six is one less than a multiple of seven. In the same way, we have 13. One plus 13 is equal to 14. 14 is a multiple of seven. So this is also correct. 20. One plus 20 is equal to 21. Again, 20 is one less than multiple of seven. In 27, 27, let me write one here. One plus 27 is equal to 28. So in this case, Bruno is right. Why? Because we found out that one plus six is seven. Seven is a multiple of seven. In the same way, one plus 13 is 14. 14 is also a multiple of seven. Well, we are done with question four. Let's go to question five and let me scroll up a bit. In question five, it says, Sam picks 50 apples. He packs all the apples into boxes. He puts the same number of apples in each box. How many boxes does Sam use? Find different answers. How many boxes does Sam use? First of all, first of all, if he puts 10 apples in each box, then in this case, we need five boxes. Why? Because five times 10 is equal to 50. If Sam puts 10 apples in each box, so he needs five boxes. If he puts five apples in each box, he needs 10 boxes. He needs 10 boxes because 10 times five is equal to 50. And there is a possibility that if he puts one apple in each box, he needs 50 boxes. 50 boxes because one times 50 is 50. Or we can say that if he puts 50 apple in one box, then in this case, he needs only one box. We found four different answers. One, if he puts 10 apples, he needs five box. If he puts five apples in each box, he needs 10 box. If he puts 50 apples in each box, he needs one box. But if he puts one apple in each box, he needs 50 boxes. Question five is also solved. Let's scroll down to question six. In question six, it says, here are 10 digit cards. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It says, use each card once to make five two digit numbers that are multiple of three. Five two digit numbers that are multiple of three. Ask your partner to check your answer. Did you both make the same numbers or not? So you are my partner. I will make five numbers that can be multiples of three and you check if your answer is the same as mine or not. Well, the first number that I can make because it says you need five two digit numbers that are multiples of three. First of all, I will write three and zero. So these two are crossed. Three and zero gives us 30 and it's a multiple of three. I can write one and five. 15 is also a multiple of three. One and five is crossed. I can write 27. 27. Two and seven are also a multiple of three and it is crossed. And I can write, uh, let me choose the numbers in a way that we can have two different numbers. Okay, I can make 48. 48 is also a multiple of three. So four and eight is also gone. We have 69 or 96. Both can be multiples of three. If we write 96 also, it can be multiple of three because uh, 
10 times 3 is 30 and 3 10 times 3 is 90 and another 2 times 3 is 60. So we could make 5 different numbers that are multiples of 3. Well, in question 7 it says copy and complete the calculation so that the answer is a multiple of 8. So that the answer is a multiple of 8. To get a multiple of 8, we need a number that gives us a number that can be here. It can be either 80 or it can be either 64 or 72. So we have 57 here and 57 plus 7 gives us 64. 57 plus 7 gives us 64 because 7 plus 7 is 14 and 1 plus 5 is 6. Here it says, can you find more than one answer? Of course, we can find. Now, we can look for a number that when we add with 57 should give us 72 because one of the multiples of 8 here is 64 and the other one is 72. So 57 plus another number should give us 72. What number do you think here can give us 72? Well, if we have here, if we have 5, 5 plus 7 is 12. So 12, 1 plus 5 is 6 and plus this one is 7. So 57 plus 15 is giving us 72. It is the second answer that we could find. Well, the last question in this exercise is question 8. In question 8 it says, copy the Venn diagram and write the numbers in the correct place. So the diagram says factors of 30, factors of 40, factors of 30 and factors of 40. One of the numbers that can be factor of both 30 and 40 is 5 because 5 times 6 is 30 and 5 times 8 is 40. So I can write 5 here but 6 is only a factor of 30 and 8 is a factor of 40. So I write 8 here. How about 7? Can 7 be a factor of any of them? No, 7 cannot, so 7 goes outside the circles. We can put 7 here. So any number that does not meet any of the requirement of the Venn diagram, we put outside the circle in the box. Well, with question 8, we are done with all questions of exercise 5.1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 4. I hope it helps you learn how to simply find the answer to such type of questions. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the videos and share the videos with your friends, your classmates and your students if you are a teacher. Have a nice time and thank you so much.